Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 33 of this video series. In this session, we'll see the group by, which is a very much useful clause in ClickView backend. So, this will try to group number of rows to perform an aggregation operation on top of the grouped rows. So, Let's quickly jump into click view desktop and then we'll see how this will work in action. So I'll be creating a new application and I'll save it as a group by. So let's load the data. Be embedding the labels and finish it. So let's reload it so that we can get the data into click view. There are some extra columns in the data. We'll remove those columns later on. Right, so this is the orders table. So in this we have uh, order ID, order priority, discount, unit price, shipping cost, customer ID, customer name, shipping mode, and customer segment, product category, and country as well. Seems to be there is only one country and there is region and state. Uh, we have a sales number as well. So assume we need sales by state or province. So if I load the data as it is, how it is being uh, loaded right now. So the number of rows that are going to be available in the data uh, is, is equals to the granularity of the data level. So but we need data at state and provenance level. So in this case, it is not necessary to load the data set at the lowest granularity level. So it's one of the optimization technique that we should follow to reduce the number of rows in the data model so that our model will work efficiently. If at all, if, that is, if number of rows uh, required at the lowest granularity level, we can go ahead. But in our scenario, we don't need that level. So what we need is, we need sales by region. So for that, what we can do, just remove these rows. I don't want these rows. And then we'll keep this state, uh, state pro or provenance. And then, so what we'll be doing, we'll uh, sum up the sales here. So that would be sum of sales as a sales by region or sales by state. So as we are performing the aggregation operation on top of a group of rows, so we have to make it as group by. So group by so we have to specify the dimension name in here reload so if you add these two and you can find only few number of rows let's go to document property so that we'll get to know how many rows are available so we have only 49 records because 49 states are there and 49 records are here. So it means less data. We are trying to optimize the data based on the requirement. Suppose if we load the entire data set, let's make it as, uh, let's comment it. I'll do load star and comment this group by.
So here we have 1952 records, wherein which if we do group by, we'll get only 49 records. Means ultimately, so the memory consumption will be less. If you want to perform some on top of it, so you have to uh, apply some kind of uh, calculation as well. and sum of uh, sales right this is how we can get it so assume th in this case it's only just 1900 records assume if our data set has millions or billions of data uh, i mean billions and millions of rows so in that case definitely it will hit the performance and you need large amount of computing resources to perform those kind of calculations uh, in real time for the maximum throughput. So just before going to develop the application, let's know about your data completely. So at what, at what granularity the data is available and at which granularity we have to create the visualizations or end user is expecting the visualizations. So based on that, you can reduce the granularity with this group by. If at all your ClickView application is is taking much time to do the group by class, you can go for using uh, a group by in SQL statement itself. Sometimes the SQL infrastructure that sits in the back end or else in the data end uh, may have the resources available because most of the time data is being loaded from uh, in. in uh, data warehouse where uh, we'll be having OLAP means those databases are not going to be working in real time to give the maximum throughput for uh, transactions. Those are for only analytical uh, I mean requirements fulfilling. So in that case, we can use the, uh, we can do the group by in the database and using stored processes or else using queries. Okay, so. First know your data and then go for um, preparing the data model. So this is how GroupBy will work in ClickView. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe.